A-level chemistry quick test video for atomic structure and isotopes. So there's your first question. If you want to pause the video, have a go at that and then play on when you're ready for the answers. So a couple of definitions to start with. Define the term isotope. So we have to say atoms of the same element with different numbers of neutrons. Define the term relative isotopic mass. So that's the mass of an isotope compared to 1 12th of the mass of an atom of carbon 12. And then finally, what's the difference between the Mg24 and Mg26 isotopes? Basically, Mg26 has two more neutrons than Mg24. Of course, you could say that the other way around. So here's the final task. So again, if you want to pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. So for the first question, we've got to write the full symbol. So obviously the symbol for the element and the mass number and proton number and any charge from that information. So I would start with the protons, 19 protons, that tells you what we've got. So this is potassium. The protons and neutrons give you the mass number. So we're gonna have a mass number of 39 and the difference between the protons and electrons will tell you if there's any charge. So you can see we've got one fewer electron to proton, so this is going to have a one plus charge. So the full symbol would be that. So I'll just rattle through these now. So the second one is that. There's the third one. There's the fourth one. And there's the final one. Okay, so for question two, it's kind of the other way around. We're given the symbol, we're given the mass number, not the proton number, and we are given the charge if it's got one. Okay, so we're basically going to turn this information here into protons, neutrons, and electrons. And I've written them in that order, by the way. So I'll explain the first one and then just show the answers for the rest. So hydrogen, you'd go to the periodic table to find out what its proton or atomic number is, and it's obviously 1. The mass number is 1, so it mustn't have any neutrons. And the charge, we haven't got a charge, so the electrons and protons have to be the same. So in the order of protons, neutrons, electrons, it's 1, 0, 1. Okay, so here's the rest.